Hi, my name is Emin Yan, and I'm a sex worker. I'm Solomon, and I'm also a sex worker. This video is part of a series produced by Smart Bernardo, a professionalization and empowerment project, as well as an information and counseling center for sex workers in Berlin, who are cis and trans men, non-binary and trans fat. You can find more details about Smart Berlin at the end of this video. In this video, we'll talk about sex work and safe reuse of psychoactive substances, which we refer to as drugs and chems. An important aspect of this topic is the working context, where the decision to use drugs is not necessarily a matter of personal recreational use. There are numerous reasons why someone may decide to use drugs or chems in a sex work context. Particularly, as there has always been a market for sex and drugs and so-called chemsex. The purpose of this video is not to validate or be dismissive of these reasons, but rather to help you make safer choices. Before we start, it's important to understand that this content is not intended to promote or encourage drug use. Our aim today is to offer non-judgmental information and to share the experience gathered in arm reduction work over a long period of time. Nevertheless, we can't ignore the reality that using drugs, no matter what the reason or context, comes with risks. Factors like individual vulnerability and pre-existing health conditions can also increase those risks. Smart Berlin accepts no liability for any damages arising from the use of this information. As we can't cover everything in one video, we decided to focus on harm reduction and create some relevant categories for this topic. So let's get started right ahead. If you decide to use psychoactive substances when doing sex work with clients, you may want to take some precautions into consideration. When it comes to drug use, we cannot talk about 100% safe use because drug use is inherently risky. What you can do is learn strategies on how to reduce risk when using. Here we will share some harm reduction methods with you. The setting in which substances are used is an important aspect of safety. If something goes wrong, it's generally best not to be allowed. However, it's also very important that you have appropriate support. If you end up in a potentially vulnerable situation, you at least want to know that no one will take advantage of it. If you already know the person you are going to meet, you'll have a better idea of what to expect and can decide in advance for yourself whether you feel secure with this person in case there is a problem. Find out about the substances you want to use before you take them, buy from the same dealers, and have your drugs tested at a local project before you use them. This can tell you how strong the drugs are and can help you dose accurately to reduce the risk of overdose. There are projects in Berlin that offer anonymous and free advice on drug testing. Snorting, smoking, injecting, or booty bumping. These are all examples of different methods of consumption that may have different levels of intensity. Remember, you can always take more, but once already ingested, you can't take less. Start low and take it slow is an essential harm reduction protocol, starting with the lowest dose and the least intense usage method. Keep in mind that in the long term, the body can develop resistance, often making it difficult to return from a more intensive to a less intensive method of use. Under the influence of substances, it can become difficult to set boundaries, which may lead you to prioritize safe sex differently. Having a clear conversation in advance with your clients about what, how you would like things to happen during the booking is a good practice.
as a free adult, you decide for yourself whether you want to consume drugs. If you are asked to bring the drugs to the booking, take into consideration that an authorized acquisition and trade, as well as the resulting possession, is punishable by law. If you make a plan in advance, you'll have one less thing to worry about if you're not in the best shape. It can be helpful to have a friend who already knows where you are, in case you need a ride call. Don't hesitate to contact the emergency services on 112 if you feel like you're in danger. Safer use means taking responsibility for your own health when consuming drugs. Using only your own equipment and consuming drugs under the most hygienic conditions possible is one aspect of safer use. The way that substances are combined is crucial. The more you know about a substance, its possible effects and side effects, the better. Here you have a guide to drug interaction. Also, consider the quality, quantity, and the time interval before taking a second dose, as some substances can take up to two hours before you feel that effect. For unknown drugs that you have never tried before, and for which you do not know the effects, you can consider testing them first in small quantities and outside the sex work context to get a feeling for how you might react to them. If needed, take a break somewhere quiet and calm, if possible. Make sure to stay hydrated too, particularly during long sessions. Some anti-HIV medications may have potentially harmful interactions with various substances. These interactions may increase the intensity or side effects of the drugs, or decrease the effectiveness of your medication. For advice about interactions with medications such as PrEP and PEP, speak to your healthcare provider. Drug use is always associated with risks and can lead to emergencies, even if safer use rules are followed. In some situations, it can be helpful to know what someone has consumed. However, it is not decisive, as first aid is always given according to symptoms. In case of a suspected overdose or emergency, secure the place and check consciousness and breathing. If the person is unconscious, call 112. During the call, you only need to describe the symptoms. If you mention drug use, the police may also come. Provide first aid appropriate to the symptoms until the ambulance arrives. The medical staff are under a duty of confidentiality. Sharing all the information that you have with them when they arrive is essential. Make sure you give yourself time off without commitments, that you have enough to eat and drink in the house, that you catch up on enough sleep, and take good care of yourself to recover. Self-controlled use refers to disciplined, planned, and limited substance use. In international programs of controlled use, it's common to plan for one week at a time. One, number of drug-free days. Two, maximum amount consumed on consumption days. Three, total consumption for the full week. There are already specialized programs that offer information on how you can learn to plan and control your usage. For example, KISS. It can be challenging when substance use is not just recreational but also related to work. Making the right choices for you and sticking to a plan in these situations can be even more challenging. Ensuring a good work-life balance with dedicated free time and an integrated self-care practice 
can be a good habit in the long run. If you are searching for individual counseling, or if you'd like to join a group discussion where you can share and exchange experiences about drug use, you can check some of the following organizations in Berlin. Here you can obtain further information free of charge and anonymously about alcohol, party drugs, and chemsex. The Smart Berlin team is also there for you. If you have any questions on this topic, you can contact them. We hope we could give you a good overview of this complex topic. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to contact SMART. Thank you for watching and if you liked this video, check out the other SMART videos on various topics around sex work on their channels. See you soon. Bye.